everything is gonna be just fine. What's going on YouTube? It's your man, man, Boys Five, coming at you with another video. Everything is going to be just fine with the Dallas Cowboys. You know, I had my show yesterday. Well, yeah, my show um, with my co-host because it's his show as well, Cowboys Corner, and we had a very special guest. Uh, shout out to Simus once again for thanking you for coming on to our show. Um, and taking time out of your day. Um, but he, when we asked him questions about the team and how he liked the moves, because the feel I was getting from him was he loved what was going on. And I had a little bit of a thought prior to this, to what he was saying in the last couple of days, because I had another Cowboy fan asking me what was going on. You know, on one hand, you have Cowboy fans who sit there and say, we believe in Will McClay. We believe in him. We believe in him. He's our guy. He's this. He's that. We wish Jerry Jones would give Will McClay the keys of the kingdom and make him the GM. But then on the same hand, but on the other side, they want to sit there and say the Cowboys don't know. The front office don't know what they're doing. The Cowboys know exactly what they're doing. That front office knows exactly what they're doing. Okay, I am all for not bringing in these big name guys and overpaying for them that are tail end of their prime. Yes, it's their prime, but the tail end of it. It's not, it's not a glimpse of the prime you see. It's not the chunk, the middle of the prime you see. It's the tail end. These guys chasing a check, right? And because it's a name, Cowboy fans want to overpay. They want to overpay for these guys. They come on here, you know, one year, two, three, whatever deal they get, right? Cowboy fans want that. But yet they want to sit there and tell you that we believe in Will McClay. Well, if you believe in Will McClay, trust the system trust the process of what's happening i made this example yesterday on the show and even though it's a different sport my team the san antonio spurs basketball what did they do in the last the, since tim drafting tim duncan right what did they do over that 20 year span they drafted their guys developed their guys right and brought in key role players at a good price that's what they did and that's what the cowboys are doing now it takes a little bit more time because you have seven rounds you have 53 men rosters right let's take a look at it they they Trayvon Diggs, right? He's developing. He, he, he had a breakout season last year. Um, who, 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 uh, Michael Parsons. I knew what he was going to be. I was saying it since day one, since we played the Ravens in 2020 to draft this guy, right? And amongst a few other names, Cowboys Corner said it that over the past two years, I think out of all the drafts, I think 19 guys that they have brought in since the Mike McCarthy era are still on the team. Still on the team. I mean, let's take a look at it. You have Gallup, right? That's our guy. Yes, he's been injured. Keep developing him. Right? Uh, Odigizua, our guy. Keep developing him. Neville Gallimore, our guy. Keep developing him. Tank, who's at the tail end, tail end of his career, you know, he's a good, solid piece to have still. Even though I'm not much of a fan, he's still a solid piece to have there. Right? 
Tyron Smith, who I said get rid of three, four years ago to get that trade value, right? But we didn't. So he's our guy still, right? He's developed into an all pro what he is. <clears throat> Jordan Lewis, our guy still developing. Took a little bit of a step back, but he's still good. Um, boss man fat. We're seeing glimpses of Flash. It looks like this secondary is going to be <laughs> going to be nice. It's going to be nice this year. You know, there are a few key spots. Sorry, I guess I hit the button that turned off the camera. But what I was saying was the Cowboys have a few positions that they need to draft and we will be OK. Now, I'm afraid that in the first round, they're going to take a wide receiver because we don't need a wide receiver in the first round this draft class of the wide receivers is deep we can get one in the second or um, take one of those four five fifth round picks that we have package it with another with another um draft and move up in the second round to get a guy if we need to i honestly think since i still love zeke right i love zeke i love tony pollard we get this run game going i want a guard it's not the sexy pick. It's not the greatest pick, but a guard. Anyone on either side of the ball, the defensive line or the offensive line, I would be happy. Hell, even a linebacker I would be happy with, right? Because you still got Jabril Cox. But the Dallas, but these, these other fans out here, right? These other fans that make videos constantly want you to believe that next year we're going to be in a world of hurt. And they're trying to sell it as being optimistic, right? But let's face it, we play in a horrible division. And if we win again, we'll be in the playoffs yet again. But the Cowboys are not far off from being a, a, a pretty stud team. Look, look, look. We can benefit from a bad division and get into that playoff spot, you know? Get in that playoff spot, like I was saying and do something with it. We're not far off, guys. We really aren't. You know, uh, you know, they you know, Cowboy fans say we believe in Will McClay. Well, let Will McClay do his job. Let this Dallas Cowboys front office do their job. Draft their guys, develop the talent that they have. And we will be fine. Bring in a few key role players. Malik Hooker, Jerome Curse. Right? Urban from last year, even though he got hurt. But still, <clears throat> these are key players that we're bringing in to fill a role spot. And we are going to draft our guys and develop them. Because over the past few years, we've been doing well at developing our players. We really have. So if we, we go out there, we draft what we need to, develop our guys... And we're going to be just fine. We're going to be just fine. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you. I'm out. Peace.